Hey YouTube, uh, today we have the SRAM code breaks and I'm going to show you how to bleed them. Uh, to start off, we want to take off the wheel. Uh, we just need to get to the brake pads. Um, with the code um, brakes, they have uh, a little pin on there with like a number two a hex wrench and you want to unscrew that and then that's going to allow your pads to come out. It's a nice safety feature and it, it holds in your pads really well. Um, again, we need to take out the pads because they will absorb the brake fluid if, if any um, fluid gets on them. So we're going to take those out and we're going to insert our bleed block. You want to make sure that's nice and tight and it's not going to fall out. Uh, next, we're going to take our Torx 10 and we're going to undo the bleed uh, screw on the caliper. Uh, again, make sure that you clean up any oil that you see. Uh, sometimes you can forget about that oil and you're going to go and insert your pads back in and again, oil can get on it. Here I'm going to insert the caliper side or the, the syringe in the caliper. I have about 15 to 20 cc's of oil um, on this side. It's important to have more oil on the caliper side than on the lever side because we will be pushing the, the old fluid out. We're going to be starting with that caliper side. We're going to be pushing the old fluid out and it's going to be coming out of the lever side. So that's why we put more oil in the caliper side than we do the lever side. Here I'm adjusting the contact pad. You want to make sure that the contact pad is completely out and that it's level. So you can see that I readjusted my levers so that they're more level. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to undo the bleed screw valve and I'm going to insert the syringe. And again, this side only has about 10 cc's of oil. So now that that's in and the caliper side is in, I'm going to undo the clips on the syringe. Okay, this allows, obviously, it allows the brake fluid to go in and out. And those clips are important. And if you need a description of, of the tool that I'm using, I'm going to put it in the description box. But these are really nice syringes. They work really well. Um, and air doesn't get into the system. Okay, so now at this part, I'm with my left hand, or the caliper side, I'm going to be pushing the fluid through. So you can see with my left hand, I'm going to be pushing that fluid through, and it's going to be coming all the way out the top. And it's going to be going into that top uh, syringe. Uh, so you can see I'm almost down to the bottom. And now I'm going to start pushing on the lever side. And you can see that the caliper side is now starting to fill with oil. I'm going to redo this process three or four times until I get the air out of the system. But this is important. You want to end on the caliper side. I'm going to make sure that um, I end on the caliper side. Or what I mean by that is you want to make sure that you push most of the fluid through the system on the caliper side. I mentioned earlier that that's how you replace the fluid inside the system. You want more fluid in the caliper side than you do the lever side. Okay, so I've, I've finished that. I've pushed it through. Now I'm going to clip the syringe or block that oil from getting in and out. And then I'm going to squeeze the lever and I'm going to zip tie it. You can use a rubber band. If you have a friend with you, you can have them hold it. Either way, for this next part, you need to make sure that that lever is closed. I'm sorry, open. Meaning all the way to the handlebar. Okay, so now I'm going to plunge the system. What I mean by that is I'm going to be pulling on that syringe back and forth. And this is going to be drawing out any air bubbles in the caliper. You can see right here, there's a bubble coming right up. I just pointed at it with my pinky finger. Uh, you want to continually do this until all of the air is out. You can see I sped up this part. 
I don't want you to, you know, watch the whole thing with real time. So we're plunging that system, we're getting it all out. Okay, go ahead and leave it right there. Don't close it off. The next section, or the next part, is to cut the um, zip tie, hold that lever, and then with your right hand, you're going to take the syringe on the caliper, and you're going to push on it. You're going to put some pressure on it, and that's going to force that lever to come out. And this is just putting fluid back into the system where it needs to go. Once I do that, I'm going to completely close off the caliper system, meaning I'm going to unscrew the, the syringe, and I'm going to put the bleed screw back in because we're finished with the caliper side. Now I'm going to plunge the lever side. This one's a little bit different because you you plunge the system with the syringe and then you you push down and then you break. You break the lever about 10 times. And this is going to um, again it's going to pull out any air that's in the in the lever. Now when you break on the lever, it should be firm. If it's not firm, you might want to repeat the process. I'm going to do this around three or four times until I get all the air bubbles out of the system. Um, after that, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pinch off the syringe using that clip, and then I'm going to unscrew my syringe and put my bleed screw back in, and you're finished. The only thing you need to do is clean everything up with isopropyl alcohol. This is very important. And then put our brake pads back in, and we're finished. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe. Have an awesome day.